Safe Connects is an internet safety program that was written by high school students and talks about real internet issues that many of us have experienced. This is one of our five core programs. Hi, I'm Jasmine. Most of us have heard about instant messaging and chat rooms. Basically, they're a place where people can meet and communicate online. There are two types of chat rooms, public and private. Public chat rooms are ones in which anyone may enter and participate, while private chat rooms are where a person in the room must invite others to join the conversation. Hi, I'm Chris, a senior and a net literacy volunteer. Those that don't graduate from high school are twice as likely to be unemployed when they're in their 20s. No job, no money, few choices. It only takes a second to drop out of school, but dropping out has a lifetime of consequences. The average high school graduate makes hundreds of thousands of dollars more than someone who drops out. Quitting school is choosing to make less money. Staying in school makes dollars and cents. For more information, visit us at financialconnects.org. Due to Net Literacy's overwhelming contributions to the community, Net Literacy was recognized by Mayor Ballard at a meeting to appoint him as one of Net Literacy's honorary board of directors. The past two summers, I've attended two Net Literacy sponsored summer programs on the IEPY campus. It was a great team building experience in which I helped to produce a media rich website. How Net Literacy students worked diligently for seven hours to accomplish this enormous project of swapping out memory hard drives, power supplies, video cards, and CD-DVD drives to get a fully functioning computer prior to imaging. Net Literacy plans to re-image 100 more computers for elementary schools. Net Literacy sponsors Ms. Melba and Ms. Hurley were pleased with the students' drive and performance as well as being proud of their accomplishments. How's Net Literacy team helped to set up 10 laptops for Reach for Youth as a part of our charity to help the juvenile system? On February 22, 2010, five Howe Net Literacy students attended an award ceremony at the Department of Education downtown. The ceremony was closed with State Farm presenting a $100,000 check to Net Literacy. In April 2010, Howe's Net Literacy team presented internet safety tips to all Howe's feeder elementary school students. The students asked many questions after we completed the presentation. They also completed a survey about a program and received a B Internet Safe bracelet as a reminder to stay safe on the net. Our Net Literacy chapter assembled during the beginning of the 2010-2011 school year to discuss future goals and recruit new members. This picture is from the Alumni Hall of Fame banquet at the Indiana Root Bar. Successful people that graduate from IPS were honored at this banquet. Five net literacy students were invited to attend because of our many accomplishments in net literacy. Howe hosted one of the quarterly net literacy board meetings last year. We presented our PowerPoint presentation on our past accomplishments and achievements. Women Working in Technology is an annual conference sponsored by Ball State University that aims to empower women to work towards challenging goals. I was in attendance along with Samantha Quinn, a Net Literacy Board member, as well as several other young women from TC Howe that are interested in the technology field. On January 25, 2011, the National Center for Women and Information Technology honored me with the reward of Aspiration in Computing. I received an e-net book, a $250 check, and a scholarship that varies in the amount of the college of my choice. I am one of the only 20 women in Indiana chosen, as well as the first student from Indianapolis Public School District to receive this prestigious technology reward. Every high school student at T.C. Howe received a netbook this year. Net literacy students applied for positions to be netbook technicians. Some of the many things we do are... We re-image student computers and install antivirus software on them. We go into the classrooms and pick up students' machines. Oftentimes, we can fix the computers in the classroom. We keep track of all student work orders and needed repairs. Thank you, Checkpoint, from all of us at TC Howe.